Nurses are people who weren't smart enough to become doctors. I disagree, respectfully. Hi, I'm an ER nurse. Pediatric registered nurse. Pediatric ER nurse. A labor and delivery nurse. And today I will be reacting to hot takes on nurses. This one makes me nervous. Nurses do more than doctors but are highly underpaid. Okay, first of all, <laughs> you know, eventually doctors do get to a point where you make a lot more money, but they, it takes years to make that amount of money. By that time, they're probably like 50 and have kids. I mean, I think nurses are paid pretty well in some parts, but I also think it could be a lot more than it is now. And nurses hold a lot of responsibility too. Like if something happens to the patient, it's not the doctor gets in trouble, it's actually the nurse that gets in trouble. There's one time a doctor came to the nurse's station, went up to me and said, oh, hey, um, can you go check the temperature on this kid because he feels kind of hot? We all looked at each other like, dude, like this doctor makes a ton more money than us and he's gonna ask us to take a temperature like he doesn't know how. I will agree with the notion that nurses are underpaid. We go through so much traumatic experiences. It's a very demanding profession emotionally, mentally, and physically. I wouldn't put nurses and doctors in the same pedestal like we should be getting paid the same, but I just feel like there should be a little more for nurses. Pediatric nurses are the easiest types of nurses. I'm actually a pediatric ER nurse. Um, <laughs> yeah, combined. <laughs> Maybe the ER nurses have it a little bit easier because if you're trying to put an IV in a screaming 18 month old, you kind of need a whole team there. They're like little people, right? So you have to make sure all your little medications are exactly what they should be because or else you can overdose them. Whoever thinks this take has definitely not had a crying baby at night without any parents there to console them. You can feed them as much as possible, but if they're still crying and you don't know what to do, you're like, I definitely like want to pull my hair out. Other parent on the other side is like, just looking at you like thinking you're not a like legitimate nurse. Nurses are people who weren't smart enough to become doctors. I disagree, respectfully. To be a nurse is something that you have to want. That was something I wanted. It wasn't a path for me to be a doctor, you know, not go through with it and become a nurse. So that is the reality for some people and that's okay. Nursing and being a doctor is totally different fields. Nursing is, it's a 24 hour job. There's a lot of critical thinking that comes to it. When there's a change of condition in the patient, the nurse is the first one to see and tell the doctor. That's why it's so hard to get into nursing school and so hard to even pass it because there's so much to memorize. And it's about the same almost even as a, a doctor, like what they have to memorize too in school. And they don't memorize the real stuff that nurses memorize yet until they're in medical school. Being a nurse is technically a little more practical, but the doctor does have the title to it. Okay, male nurses aren't as king. Dude, are you serious? So I do not, definitely do not agree with that. Like for me as a pediatric nurse, we have all this personality to us where we kind of check cheery most of the time with our patients. I get a ton of drawings or paintings from my little patients. And that honestly warms my heart. I always post them on Instagram. America needs Filipino nurses, but Hollywood doesn't give a about them. You know, I think Filipino nurses are severely underrepresented given the fact that we make up a big chunk of nursing in the US. They try to make it very diverse when they show like a hospital scene. They have a lot of different people they have of different ethnicities, but we barely see a Filipino there. There's anatomy or the good doctor or ER. Producers of those shows, they've definitely never stepped in the hospital. These shows depict nurses in such a lower standard. Mainly it just shows the doctor doing all the work. It gets pretty hard to like watch that. Filipino nurses, they're kind of like, well, where are we? Are we, are we part of the story too? Delivery RNs are desensitized to seeing death. We deal with fetal demises, right? And so I had a patient, we already know that the baby's dead, the baby still needs to come out, you still have to go through labor and delivery. That in itself is so like mentally exhausting. It's hard. You see how heartbroken the patient is, not only, but also the entire family that comes along with it. I went back in, I went into back to my unit and I just started bawling my eyes out in the restroom. So I don't think I could ever be desensitized from death. Filipinos only pursue healthcare professions because of parental pressure. I will say that's a 50-50 thing. I think you can tell who those Filipinos are and you can also tell who is in it for like, you know, to be there because it's their dream. They saw nursing as that opportunity. And I think that's why they pressure their kids because they don't want to leave their kids with nothing. I grew up with a ton of nurses. I was surrounded by it, as I'm sure a lot of you can relate to. I wouldn't say that nursing just simply fell on my lap because it wasn't and I had a really hard-working mom who immigrated here from the Philippines. That's why I kind of took it upon myself throughout high school and college to kind of delve into that experience and see if that was something I wanted to do, which is kind of why, regardless of if my mom did kind of initially persuaded me into nursing, I thank her for it because 
Now I have financial stability and I love what I do every day. Nurse practitioners are just wannabe doctors. It's kind of sad to think that way. Nurse practitioners are nurses who want to practice medicine because they want to think about diagnosis. So I'm not just giving them medicine, I'm talking about like what you can do to help them out with their symptoms. Like how else can you like manage like their cold besides just saying, oh, here's my medicine or oh, it's just a virus, okay, bye. Not to say that all doctors are not giving all the like non-medical advice, but it's helpful to have both of those pieces together. Something really cool about um, nurse practitioners is they have that background of the art of nursing. You learn to have empathy, the different types of patients you see, not only that, the types of families you meet. And I think that's just what sets them apart. I don't think you can really compare the two and I don't think nurse practitioners are wannabe doctors. It's in a league of its own. Thank you for watching. Shout out to all my nurses. Happy Nurses Week. Happy Nurses Week. Happy Nurses Week. Happy National Nurses Week, especially to all the hardworking nurses that are going through everything right now and being the best nurses they can be and also trying to keep up that other life of being a normal person. If you want to watch more healthcare content. And if you want to see any more of us fellow healthcare workers showing our talents. You can watch Healthcare Yoki on Kumo.